Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about Hermitian matrix. Now we get a matrix and transpose it, then make it conjugate. If all diagonal components are real and all other components are conjugate, then A is equal to A adjoint. We can say the matrix A is a Hermitian matrix. Here are three fundamental properties. First, all eigenvalues are real. Second, eigenvectors are orthogonal. Third, there exists a basis of eigenvectors. What does that mean? Let's consider a simple example to answer Mr. Cooper. Let's assume that the Big Bang cast goes for a vacation to an island which has different species. Oh, what fun. We're like hippies that'll love it. Let's now consider the complex conjugate characters. Amy is Sheldon's conjugate. Bernadette is Howard's conjugate and Penny is Leonard's conjugate. Let's consider the real characters now. This is Stuart. He doesn't have a girlfriend, so he's the conjugate to himself. Same is the case with Kripke and Rajesh. Let A be a matrix that represents the number of species killed or saved by each person during their stay on the island. And we can obviously guess who had an impact. Sheldon killed a bird and now thinks that he will be tormented by his ghost. Amy tries to pacify him, but alas, she fails. If we calculate the eigenvalues of matrix A, they come out to be real, which checks out our first property. We calculate the eigenvectors corresponding to these eigenvalues and take their inner product, comes out to be zero, which says that the eigenvectors are orthogonal. Think of these eigenvectors as representations of decrease or increase in number of different species of birds on the island. So during their stay, the number of bird species got transformed to lambda times the number of bird species that originally existed on the island. Each eigenvector spans the species in their eigenspace. So the number of species of birds, the number of species of fishes, and the number of species of terrestrial animals are orthogonal to each other and they span the arboreal space, aquatic space, and the terrestrial space. Together, they span the whole island space. Which checks out a third property. Bazinga! To show the operation, consider a Hermitian matrix H and diagonalize it in the form as UDU transpose. Now to show the graphical representation of this transformation, let us take a random vector P Multiplying by the Hermitian matrix is equivalent to transforming P by the following three steps. First, the coordinate system is changed by multiplication with U transpose. Then each of the component of P gets stretched by multiplication with D. Finally, the coordinate system is changed back to the original form upon multiplication with U. So guys, what is Hermitian matrix? Best and brightest, my sweet patootie. All right.